Super Mario 64 has a total of 132 achievements and only about 0.02% of all players have gotten them all, earning them the title of Mastery. This is mostly due to some very incredibly difficult challenges that require patience, luck, as well as a lot of skill. But wait Babsia, what are you talking about? SM64 is a game from 1996 and does not even have any achievements. Well, you are right, but also wrong. There is a dedicated online community under the name of Retro Achievements, in which community members develop handmade sets of achievements for retro games. Be it Mario, Zelda or Sonic games, you will find your favorite game on this site and it will have a set of achievements to grab. With that in mind, I decided to combine both of my hobbies of speedrunning and achievement hunting to perform the world's first all achievement speedrun of Super Mario 64. The achievements in SM64 can be categorized into multiple categories. Most of the simple achievements are awarded for normal playthrough milestones, like getting 70 or 120 stars. Some of the achievements are challenges, like damageless stars and no A button challenges. Others are collectibles, like all 1-ups and all coins in a single stage. I sat down and created a general speedrun route I wanted to follow, and with that, let us dive right into it. First, I start in bob on Battlefield, in which I decide to do the Chain Chomp star first. After a quick failure at the bomb clip in true speedrunner fashion, I get our first achievement, collecting the first star. The next star will be interesting though. I am doing two achievements at the same time, getting up to the bomb boss without pressing the A button, as well as doing the entire star damageless. This required some clever strategies, as following the normal path does not really work without jumping. Doing silly kicks up the slope is also not possible, as a 0.5 A press is still counted as an A press. I quickly came up with a clever idea though, luring a bomb at the right angle to help me clip through this gate. After avoiding the dangerous balls and clearing some tricky gaps with dive rollouts, I arrive at the top and get our next achievement. Clearing the fight without damage is pretty easy from now on, so with that I get the third achievement in one go. Next up, I need to win the Cooper race in under 34 seconds, without using the wing cap. Using a normal speedrun route, I can easily do that and even open the cannon while waiting for Cooper to arrive at the top. With that, I leave Bob on Battlefield for now, as I later need the wing cap for the other stars. I head to Womp's Fortress, where the first crazy achievements wait for us. The first thing I do is shoot into the wild blue without using a cannon. This is an incredibly difficult feat that speedrunners of all levels fear each time they approach the star. Luckily though, I get it first try. Jokes aside, the next achievement is actually tricky, especially for casual gamers. I need to perform the so-called Aula speedrun skip. I assume this achievement is intended to be done with performing a long jump from the tower, but as speedrunners, I can do a precise triple jump wall kick to get the star early. Now things will get interesting though. I try to combine three achievements at once. I need to collect all 141 coins in the stage, while damageless and while getting all 1-ups. I first try to spawn one of the secret 1-ups in the stage by activating the butterflies and running into their hitbox. One of those three butterflies has a chance to transform into a 1-up, but it's pretty random and rather precise. This time, the butterflies flew out of bounds or away from the stage, so I had to abandon this achievement for now and focus on the coins. Things go smoothly from here on. I get the 100 coins start during this grind and finally the 141th coin is mine as well. Since I have managed to do it all damageless, I get the achievement for collecting all red coins without taking damage at the same time. Before focusing again on the 1-ups, I notice that I anyways need to first unlock the tower, so I rather do a quick run to the boss fight and do it damageless as well, for a quick and easy achievement. I also pop the collect 8 stars achievement, that allows us to go into the first Bowser door. After a couple more failed attempts, I finally spawn the 1-up, get the hidden one inside the tower, the one from the rotating platform, and finally the one on top of the pole. On the way, I also activate the warp, as using every warp in every single stage also gives us an achievement. I finish up with the tower and I'm close to done with this stage. Now, I just perform the infamous cannonist strategy to grab the last star, which gives me the achievement for all stars in the stage. Before I move on to the next one though, I did forget to open the cannon, since there is one achievement at the end to have opened all cannons in all stages. Next up is Peach Secret Slide with 3 achievements to grab. In theory, you can do them in only 2 rounds, 
but since I made some mistakes I had to do them separately. The first one is granted for collecting all 80 coins in the slide. The second one is for collecting both 1-ups. One is here on the slide, which is pretty tricky. The other one is a secret that you get by hitting the wall behind the box as well as an invisible checkpoint in the middle of the slide. Finally, you need to beat the slide in under 17 seconds, which for speedrunners is no problem at all. The next stage I focus on is Cool Cool Mountain. One of the achievements is to perform wall kicks will work without touching the lower platform. The intended way for that is to use a spin drift to fly right into the star, but speedrunners have different tricks for that. With a precise backflip wall kick dive, I can get right to the highest platform and get the star in record time. Next up I'm just quickly performing the slide star, and on the way to the star, open the cannon as well, as I will use it later on. I also quickly finish up the penguin race, to have a bit of a breather before the real challenge. Once again, I am trying to combine as many achievements as possible for maximum time save. I need to collect all 154 coins, damageless, and get all the 1-ups at the same time. I start with the lower platform here as the spindrift coins control you and fall down easily. Getting all the coins also requires you to kill all the enemies, and this specific snowman here is quite tricky as most of the ground is a slope. After getting some more red coins and using the single warp of the stage, I get all the coins inside the slide and grab the 100 coin star on the way. There's also a hidden one up here that I need to grab. On the way down the mountain I also collect this boxed one up here, as well as the secret one in this tree. Also I casually missed this red coin here. I do one more quick round to the slide to get the shortcut 1-up and finish up the achievement with the last boxed 1-up down the slope. This is also the moment I realized that I'm missing that one red coin earlier, so I went to pick it up. And after thinking the fastest way of getting there, I set up my angle and perform a angle triple jump wall kick for maximum height to reach this ledge. <gasps> what? This is a slope? No! What? How is that a slope, dude? Well, or so I thought. Who would have guessed that this is a slope? And that is the first of many unfortunate deaths with only one coin in the run missing. Without despairing, I quickly redo everything and finally grab the all coins achievement. And then the red coin star as well, all while damageless. After quickly grabbing the little penguin star and the head race, I also am finally done with CCM. I next go to the first Bowser stage, which I need to do twice, as some 1-ups in the stage only spawn later in the game after Fire C. So in the first run, I just use all my speed strats and get the key as fast as possible while not taking any damage. I'll be back here later though. The next achievement is a quick one. Activating the wing cap switch and collecting the wing cap red star. Little speedrun trick here, rolling out on the switch right into the star skips the text boxes from the switch. With the wing cap unlocked, I challenge Bob on Battlefield again. This stage all coin achievement is really difficult, as there are just so many coins and things can go wrong. My first priority is to take out all the bob -bombs as fast as possible, as they can explode off screen and the coin is lost forever. After some more bombs, I'm finally in the clear for bad RNG, so I take the shell and get some more coins before heading to the island. This section is really tedious, as the coins are hard to spot in the air and it is easy to miss one or two. I also accidentally spawned the 100 coin star in the air, so I had to run back to the island one more time. On the way there, I get 5 coins from this pole. This singular pole is also the reason I don't do the damageless red coins at the same time, because it is incredibly hard to get these coins damageless. After doing all the poles and flying around a bit more, I finally get the achievement for all 146 coins in the state. Next up, I try to do the damageless reds and the 1-ups. I use the last warp in the stage to get the warp achievement and start collecting the 1-ups. One here from running around the flower patch and one underneath the bridge. I grab more reds and then head to this particular tree as it spawns another 1-up, which gives us the achievement. I finish up with the red coins and get also the damageless achievement. The next goal I am going for is to get the island star without using a cannon. So I just climb the mountain quickly and fly there. This also gives us the full course achievement. I am not done yet though, as I need to get the secret star one more time, but this time without a wing cap. This requires very precise cannon shots, 
and with more luck than reason I get it in only 3 shots. That is all for Bobon Battlefield. I take a quick dip into the secret aquarium, get all the red coins and spawn the secret one up inside this coin ring. Next up is Jolly Roger Bay, the calm water stage. I first need to get the ship star, as that unlocks the cannon as well as other stars that I need. I use a little speedrun trick called Ship Clip to skip luring the eel out, collect the chests and grab the star. From here on I can challenge the all coins achievements together with the 1-ups. There is no damageless reds goal in this stage, as the water automatically requires you to take damage. Since there are only 104 coins total and the coins are pretty easy in this stage, I make quick progress while grabbing the 1-up inside this ring on the way, opening the cannon, shooting to this pole here for the second 1-up, grabbing the 100 coin star and then finishing with the red coin star. I was really surprised about the next achievement, as it is considered a pretty difficult strategy even for top level speedrunners. I need to get the cannon shot star without using the cannon. Speedrunners use something called framework for it, but you can also use a precisely angled double long jump from the ship combined with a wall kick to get it done. Another achievement here that speedrunners do by default is grabbing the jet stream star without the metal cap. This one is pretty easy, as you just need to time your swims decently well. I also reached 30 stars here, which marks the opening of the second star door, even though I haven't even been to the basement yet. I quickly grab the two remaining stars of the eel and the chest in the cave, and I am done with the stage as well. On the way to the basement, I will prepare one of the more obscure achievements, which is collecting both 1-ups inside the castle interior. One is located here on the other side of the aquarium entrance, then I quickly grab Mips for a free star, and for the other one up, I first need to lower the water for the vanish cap, and then touch all of these four corners. For whatever reason, this spawns a one up as well. This one I surely did not know as a kid. In the vanish cap stage, I just need to get the red coin star, activate the switch, and get all four one ups. Three of them are located in the beginning of the slope. The last one spawns after collecting all three coins in the cage. No, what, dude? Well, <laughs> let's redo that quickly, and there I go, first try every time. With the vanish cap unlocked, I can tackle our next stage, which is Big Boo's Haunt. I start with the easiest achievement, getting the library star without entering the library. I can just literally jump over this gap though and the star is ours. The next one is interesting. I need to defeat two big boos without getting damaged, so I first do the ghost hunt star, then instead of grabbing the star go up to the roof, kill the big boo there to get the achievement and then return as the ghost hunt star is much longer and this is a nice time save for me. Then I combine the 1-up achievement with the rooftop big boo. One is located at the shed at the start of the stage the other one right where the star is. While I am at it, I also quickly grab the eyeball boss fight star. Then I challenge the all 151 coins in the stage. I plan to pair the star together with the merry-go-round one, as I at the end anyways need to jump down for the ghost coins anyways. Again, BBH is a pretty straightforward stage, so I easily get the 100 coin star and then finish up with the all coins achievement. Since I did not pair the all coins with the damageless reds, I'm going to do that now. For a second I questioned how to get the scary piano red coin without getting damaged, but after that things went rather smoothly. And with that I also have gotten all stars in this stage. Now I am heading into the basement, where three of the most difficult stages wait for us. I first tackle shifting sandland. Here comes one of my favorite achievements in the entire run. I have to get the pyramid star while holding this box here. It is basically an escort mission, which gives the game a whole new playstyle and perspective to it. At the end, I thought of a little backwards jump chain to skip going around the pyramid, and there I go. Next up, I need to collect the highest star inside the pyramid by going through the roof. Speedrunners can use a trick called pillarless, but since I have failed it first try, I just went with the shell and quickly grabbed the star. Then I do damageless red coins, as I cannot pair it with the all coins run later, since there are coins inside the pyramid that I need to get as well. 
On the way, I grab one of the two warps in the stage and open the cannon as well. And with that, we get the red coins damageless. Now comes the difficult one. All 136 coins and all 1-ups. The first 1-up I collect is above this sand pit here. Outside of the pyramid are 74 coins, which also means that I need to get all the reds again. Especially the fly guys are tricky as their coins can fall down in random directions. The second 1-up I need spawns on top of the oasis tree. And finally, the last one is outside in the box right before the pyramid's entrance. From here on I go inside, have to kill all the Goombas, get the hidden Thwomp 1-up, another one in this box, then a secret one by jumping onto all of these platforms, and finally another box here. Luckily, it worked out that I can get the 100 coin star, the secret warp for the achievement, as well as the last 1-up all in one go on top of the hangable ceiling here. There is also an achievement for performing all of Mario's animations, and getting crushed by this thwomp finally triggered it for me. And then proceed to collect the secret star in combination with the very last coins in the stage. I then do the eye rock boss damageless. For that I use a precise triple jump wall kick to be able to get into the fight from the lower entrance, and then just defeat the boss without any troubles. All that is left is a quick speedrun strat for the Talon Star, and I am done with Shifting Sandland. The real pain is just about to start though. Lethal Lava Land is probably considered one of the hardest stages for this run. I first start with easy stars like the Rolling Rock Star by using the Wing Cap, then collecting the Inside Volcano Star, which also pops the 50 star achievement. The next challenge is really interesting though. I need to do the Red Coin Star damageless without pressing the A button. It turned out much harder than expected, as getting up this staircase is incredibly difficult and precise, but I luckily got it rather quickly and proceed to collect the reds nice. without problems. That was actually pretty a pretty cool achievement. <laughs> <laughs> well, or not, so I have to do this again I guess. This time I had much more trouble getting up the stairs, as the angle and rollout is way more precise than initially thought. I often bonked by accident and got damaged as a result, but after around 5 minutes I finally got up again and got the star. The next achievement requires us to defeat both big bullies without taking damage. I use the wing cap to safely proceed to the bosses and make quick work out of them, earning me the achievement as well as the tiny bully star. To clean up I quickly grab the hidden warp, then proceed to kill the big bully again, this time for his star. And now for one of the hardest challenges, getting all coins in LLL, as well as collecting 90 coins in the overworld while riding the shell. The problem with this star are mostly the bully kills, as they drop one coin which disappears if it falls into the lava. My first attempt died at 66 coins as I got horrible RNG with one of the coins from the bullies. I still decided to at least finish the 90 coins achievement on the shell first, so I have that out of my mind as well as the 100 coin star. The second attempt looked really good, I even managed to catch some of the really hard coins from the bullies, and proceeded to collect the last 5 coins from the box as this is the only thing you cannot do on a shell. I set up my timing and... No! <laughs> Very unfortunate, but I kept pushing and got back to the box in a few minutes. Finally, I got good luck with the coins and can proceed into the inner volcano. What you might not know yet is that everything up to this point was just child's play. The volcano has two extremely tricky bully coins to get. For the first one, I quickly came up with the genius plan of pushing the bully further down so I have more control over the area. For the second bully though, you need to push this guy all the way down, jump after him and then hope that you catch the coin before it touches lava. Again, I was thinking how to make this as safe as possible, when I had the idea to knock him down first onto this platform. It worked out perfectly. With that, I only had to grab the last few coins and one of the hardest achievements in the game was done. With that, I only needed to quickly grab all the 1-ups in the stage, and while most of them are obvious, this one is a bit weird as you need to get burned and run around the pillar in the middle counterclockwise. After getting the rest, I also have that achievement in the bag. 
Next stage is Hazy Maze Cave. The first achievement is something that every speedrunner and even casual players often do. The amazing exit star without touching toxic gas. I can just walk it up here and get the star for free. Then I start the difficult all coins achievement. Especially the bats are tricky here, as you have to kill them without the coin falling down into a pit. I easily got to 100 coins, and then 138 coins, but then I realized I am missing one coin somewhere. After a couple of minutes of searching, I found that there is one more bat hidden in the red coins room, and with that, get the achievement as well as the red coin star. The rest of HMC is rather easy. I grab the metal cap star by doing an out of bounds wall kick to instantly press the switch. I use this elevator to clip to the Nessie star, quickly grab the toxic maze star, and then start getting all the one ups. One is in this box, one in this one, and then I come to the obscure ones. Did you know that killing this mole here 8 times results in a 1-up? I surely did not know this before this run. The same works for the second pair of moles over here and that gives us the achievement. I do a quick run back to the rolling rock star and I am done with the stage. I still need to grab the actual metal cap though. There are a few interesting achievements there too. The challenge is to grab all red coins without using a second metal cap. I could easily do that with speedrun strats, but I also need to grab both 1-ups, one which is in this box which, if you do this without the metal cap, you die. So after activating the switch, I have to grab the remaining coins without the cap, meaning I need to do some precise jumps into the water. It works out and I get the red coin star together with the achievement. Next up is Dire Dire Docks. The all coins achievement is actually not too bad here as there are only 106 coins anyways in the stage, and I can combine it together with the achievement of getting all red coins without the poles being out. This needs some pretty difficult jumps, but it is literally in the speedrun route as well, so no problem for us. I then quickly grab the chest star and do the next achievement, the jet stream star without a metal cap. This is also a common speedrun strat, so again no problem. I grab the Vanish Cap star next and also pop the achievement for finally reaching 70 stars. Only a few left now. I then quickly grab the Submarine star to open Fire Sea and then enter the second Bowser level. I again will need to do it twice, as some 1-ups only spawn later after killing the boss. So I first just collect all 80 coins in the stage, get the red coin star and then defeat Bowser. The second round needs to be both damageless and collect all 1-ups. So I grab one here, one on this elevator, one in this box, and the newly spawned one below the red coin star. All that is left is a damageless Bowser fight and I am good. I still have some cleanup to do, namely the Manta Ray star which completes the stage, and then there is an extra achievement where I need to collect a submarine star without the submarine. This is actually something I have never done before, but after some labbing I figured out a way to jump into it from this pole right here. Now that I have beaten Bowser 2, I can also finish up Bowser in the Dark World, as the last 1-up has spawned now. And also collect all 80 coins on the way. With that, I am done and ready to finally go upstairs. Wet Dry World is one of my favorite stages, so I enter it with excitement. I start with the All Coins achievement and want to pair it with the Red Coin Star. I make quick progress in the first area of the stage reach 100 coins and then continue into the downtown area with a little skip. After clearing up some red coins and some enemies here as well, I pop the achievement and get the star. There is also an achievement to enter the stage at all possible water levels, so I start now with high water, open the cannon, collect the first area 1-ups and then proceed to downtown where the rest of the 1-ups wait for us with the vanish cap star. The last water state is medium and I use it to quickly get the top star. One last achievement here is using the warp, which luckily directly translates into getting the box star as well. Then I just quickly clean up the secret star and the elevator star, which gives us the stage achievement. And with that ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to hell. Tiny huge island has probably the hardest achievements in the game. I start by getting the top star, as that is a requirement for the Koopa to spawn. The hard part about the all coins achievement is to not accidentally kill a tiny Goomba by accident, as their hitbox is extremely small and they can only spawn a coin if you directly jump onto them. 
My first attempt went surprisingly well, but they unfortunately get unlucky with a coin drop. I still proceed to open the cannon and then try again and again and again and again. Eventually, I managed to grab the 100 coin star and this attempt had all the good RNG I needed. So I managed to clutch it out by getting the last few coins inside the Wiggler cave. Next up, I quickly grabbed the red coin star without taking damage. Collected all the 1-ups here, 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 and here, and also get grabbed by a Chakia and breaking out of it by mashing the stick and the A button. I also grabbed the achievement for activating the warp in THI, and get an achievement for reading this sign on the island here. The next challenge in this stage is doing the Wiggler boss fight without taking damage, which is actually trickier than it sounds, as you need to space out yourself very well. I then quickly grab the plants and secret stars and continue to the Cooper race, which I need to finish in under 20 seconds without using the shell. And with that, I am done with this stage. The next one is Tall Tall Mountain, which has some pretty heavy coin RNG as well, as some bombs can just run off the stage. I start the achievement inside the slide, collecting the secret 1-ups in the beginning by touching all four walls, as well as the one behind this corner here. Two more 1-ups can be found on the slide, then I continue my way to this one, this one, and this one. This bomb here decided to kill the run though, so I focused more on the 1-ups now, which again, like in Hazy Maze Cave, you can get by killing 8 molds in one patch. I decided to try something though. Maybe, when entering a loading zone like the slide, the bomb would respawn together with the coin. And luckily enough, that was exactly the right call. I grabbed the last 1-up and popped the achievement for it, followed by the 100 coin star, when this particular shy guy decided to fly out of bounds. I tried luring him out and in the end I was lucky enough to somehow manage. I also opened the cannon for the cannon achievement later. One last climb to the top brings me to 137 coins and with that gets me the all coins achievement. I finish by jumping down the mountain to the red coin star. Next up, I again can use classic speedrun tricks and obtain the slide star without actually using the slide, as well as the cannon star without using the cannon. I then climbed the mountain three times for the top star, the monkey star and the waterfall star as they are all in very similar locations and with that I can finish the course. Only a few stages left now and the next one I will tackle is snowman's land. I start by doing a quick star grab for the free star, then grab the shell and start collecting coins for the all coins achievement. Thankfully in SL you can duplicate money bags to increase the total coin count artificially which means I don't really need to collect everything if I just dupe enough coins. Unfortunately, my shell breaks in the duping process, which also cost me the 75 coins while on the shell achievement. But at least I made lots of money, so I can easily spawn the 100 coin star and finish off the all coins achievement as well. During this attempt, I also collected 4 1-ups in the stage and opened the cannon for later. I then quickly grabbed the head star and the box star at the lake, then kill the bully damageless without getting pushed. And finally, redo the whole red coin damageless challenge together with grabbing 75 coins while on the shell to finish off the stage. Next, I quickly clean up a few mistakes I made, mostly for getting the warp in Tall Tall Mountain, as well as getting the single one up in DDD, which is surprisingly hard as it gets glitched into the wall very easily. Now it's time to enter the cloud stage, where I open the cannon and quickly grab all the 1-ups here, here and here, as well as the red coin star. Then in Tic Tac Clock, I start off with the all coins achievement. I really like the stage, so it wasn't really that difficult for me to grab all the 4 1-ups on the way, until... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck this. The coin is gone, right? Oh, God. The 100 coin star grab actually messed up my timing here, so I couldn't rush after the coins from the box. 
it really sucked, so I just got the 1-up achievement and then went down to the bar star and grabbed it quickly so I can retry the coins. This time I took a different route and spawned the 100 coin star somewhere more safe and after a short while I popped the all 128 coins achievement and also grabbed the thwomp star on the way. There is also an achievement for entering the stage at all 4 time states. I already have the stopped one from the coins, so next I get the hand star with the slow movement, enter the fast setting and die by accident, and finish off this achievement with the 6 o'clock option, which is a random speed to grab the pendulum star. The next one is probably one of the hardest, getting all red coins while on the fastest speed setting. Professional speedrunners can do that really fast. But since I've never practiced that, I went up and slowly collected coin by coin with different techniques. Finally, I need to climb the stage one last time to get the cage star, and with that I am done with TikTok clock. And now we are entering the final stage, Rainbow Ride. I start with a combination of different achievements. I collect all the coins in the stage, all the 1-ups, and on the way also open the final cannon of the game, and also grab the warp. All that is left now is the final carpet ride to get the 146 coin achievement, as well as the final one up on top of the roof. No, 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 no! You stupid piece of shit, one up dude. And that sure lost lots of time. I quickly run back through the entire stage and get all the one ups again, and finally, I also get that achievement. The rest of the stage is rather easy, so I quickly grab the tricky triangle star, flex a bit with my blindfolded skills, get the cruiser star without touching a carpet using a standard speedrunning long jump here, get the cannon star and finally the red coin star as well. This gives me the full course achievement and I am heading to the final Bowser stage. I now need to collect all 6 1-ups and all 76 coins here. Grab the final 120th star and defeat Bowser next. This also gives us the achievement for beating the final fight with 120 stars. I quickly reset after the fight though, as I have some cleanup to do. After getting 120 stars, Yoshi spawns on top of the castle roof, so I first collect all the hidden 1-ups in the castle grounds and then talk to Yoshi. Next stop is Cool Cool Mountain again, as the penguin race changes when you have 120 stars. The mama penguin becomes literally fat and maybe also faster, but I beat her easily and get the achievement here too. I also have forgotten a warp in Snowman's Land earlier, so I gonna grab that on the way to Bowser as well. The last achievements I have left now are a damageless Bowser 3 stage and fight, which is also done rather quickly if you don't need all the coins, so I just sprint up the stage to standing left side, where I completely forgot that it doesn't work with the special Yoshi triple jump, and after a short while, the most intense Bowser 3 fight of my life. Did slower than blindfolded. What is this fight? <laughs> Dude, I am a pretty good gamer. I'm too scared. I'm I'm too I'm too nervous, man. Who, who? <gasps> Yo, let's go. <laughs> ah. That was a journey, dude. I grab the final oh, star. And that, and ladies and gentlemen, is the story uh, of how I got all yes, 132 yes, achievements yes. in Super Mario 64 in so around 6 hours. There were many mistakes in my run, so I am sure if I would actually try, I could do it in like 3 to 4 hours, but that is a story for another time. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment as I want to do more challenge runs like this in the future. And don't forget to check out my Patreon. Big shoutouts as always to King Roops, Andrew, Zeke's Many, Boris, Bob Farrell and Ben Litz, as well as all the other ones. And see you next time. Have a nice day. Goodbye. What is that scam?